Just start with what you have. You can uh, look at this video as maybe like a part two of my very first one when it came to doing this Terraria Wisdom series, which is uh, to follow your dreams. That was my, my first advice. And so one way you do that is start with what you have. Now, I know a lot of people, um, they want to start working on their dreams. They want to start doing stuff, but sometimes they can psych themselves up and be like, oh, but I don't have this. I don't have the money. I don't have the equipment. I don't have this. I don't know how to start. I don't know where to start. I am just like, listen, start where you can start with what you have. Don't worry about all that other stuff because if you're anything like me, sometimes when you worry about all this, like, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I don't know. Then you'll never start. And you could just jump in and start right now with what you have and what you got, you know? Now, I'm not saying don't ever take preparation to start with what you have because, you know, you got to start somewhere, you know, but just start with what you have. For example, for me, right, I've been doing YouTube technically for four years if you look back at my channel. Um, when I first started making videos, all I had was my crappy phone camera and I didn't even have a microphone. I just had a crappy phone camera and I just recorded you know, and granted, I didn't get like a ton of views, but at the time, I remember when like getting like 20 to 40 views, I was like, oh my goodness, people are actually watching what I had to say, but yeah, that's how I started, and you know, I didn't do YouTube all the time consistently, and over the years, you know, I got a microphone, and I started using a, a recording software and stuff, but originally, no, nah, all I just started was, all I had was a phone, and that was it, I didn't even have a mic. So I started with what I have. And even now with this series, I don't have a lot of good equipment. <laughs> All I have is a microphone. Uh, I'm using OBS software to record Terraria, which I already had Terraria. And then I got a, like a potato laptop PC. Well, it was not a potato, but it's like a 2017 laptop. That's it. I don't got no fancy equipment. That's, that's all I got. And like I said, I'm putting out videos. People are liking what I'm putting out because they saying so in the comments. I'm at least getting a lot more views than when I first started. So I'm just like, like I said, start with what you got. Do what you can while you can. Because you can miss out on an opportunity because you think you got to, oh, I got to uh, do so much. Because, I mean, there's YouTubers out there now that got all the high quality mics, PCs, recording software, webcams, all that stuff. And they don't get like, they might get anywhere from 300 to 500 views. Although, like I said, that's how much of, if I'm getting 300, 500 views, hey. But like, that's, that's, they got all the fancy equipment, but they're not getting no views because of whatever reason. So just because, you know, for example, because I know a lot of people, they want to be like YouTubers or social media content creators and stuff. And I'm just like, like I said, start with what you what you have. Now, granted, like I said, if you want to, you got you know, depending on if you're working or whatever, you can like you know buy yourself a mic, maybe buy yourself a a cheap mic, a webcam. The mic I got was like thirty dollars on Amazon. Buy yourself like a webcam. Um, sorry if my nose sounds nasally. I'm uh, my nose is doing a nose thing. But anyway, buy yourself like a small webcam, or if you don't want to do that, don't. Like I said, OBS software is free. So download that. But yeah, like I'm not saying don't do your research, don't do anything. But like, like I said, don't worry about trying to get all the big equipment and big, big stuff. Because like I said, there's tons of people out there, tons of channels out there doing YouTube that don't. There's people, there's people out there on YouTube now that just still record on their phone or potato PC and they still get like hundreds of thousands of views. So like I said, it all depends on the type of content you're producing. Um, and another example is like for me, drawing, right? I want to learn how to digitally draw. But before that, like I bought me like two drawing books and a sketchbook and some paper. And like for a good like month, two months, I was just drawing on paper, traditionally, traditional art, um, which I'm still not good at, I'm trash at. But like now I have a drawing laptop. Hello, post editing Jerry Led here. Uh, just want to apologize for all the sniffling going on through the video. My nose was stuffy and runny that night, and 
I don't know what was up with that. Also, uh, I refer to it as a drawing laptop, but every time I do that, I meant to say drawing tablet. So yeah. All right. Back to the regularly scheduled video, which I haven't been drawing as much as I would like to. But like I said, before I got that, I was just drawing traditional art to kind of get used to, um, drawing. And eventually I was able to like save up enough money to get like a, a drawing laptop and stuff. But yeah, all I was doing is drawn on paper i had computer paper i, I didn't even use my sketchbook because i i felt like i was like oh if i use a sketchbook ooh, i feel like uh, i'm wasting my paper so i just had computer paper that i had laying around i was like let me just draw on that and use that you know <coughs> so yeah man start with what you have because you just you never know what the opportunities and stuff could lead you like uh, I was show another example of me is like, I have this car, I have a 2003 Acura. Now, granted, I didn't want to get this car. I was forced to get this car by my father when, uh, I bought it. Cause at the time I had just got out of college, and I didn't have a car. I was using my mom's car. And he was like, you can't use your mom's car. And I was like, why? So it's an inconvenience. And I was like, as mom, is it inconvenience to you? She's like, no, I don't have a problem using a car. Cause I was using that car to go back and forth to work. And so he forced me to buy this car that I didn't want. That's an old car. Um, but because I had that car, like I'm, I was able to like drive back and forth to work. Now, granted, I put a lot of money in that car and there's been a lot of issues in that car. I still don't think that was a good purchase, but because I started with what I have, like I said, I used that car when I, when I moved out and drove to Ohio, like I used that car, that car has brought me plenty of places. And like I said, even though I almost died like three times in that car, I technically haven't. So I'm still here, but because I started with what I had. And I remember at the time, I think I only had like $4,000 or something. And I remember when we bought that car, immediately needed to get fixed. So my dad had to pay for like the rest of the stuff that needed to get fixed because the car had a bunch of issues. But I started with what I had. And that's all I had. And I still got this car till this day. I got that car in 2014. <laughs> and I still have that car till this day. It'll be a whole 10 years uh, by December if the car makes it to that long. Because I don't know if it's going to make it that long. But if it does... <laughs> 10 years and so i don't know like i said do your research on stuff because even when um i got the drawing tablet like i was able to get it like online for like super cheap so i'm not saying like like i said don't do your research but if you got an idea try the idea if you got a a, a thing you want to do and you're like scared and worried about oh, i don't know if i have enough you know whatever do if you can you know, if you want a hobby, you want to do a hobby, but you're like, oh, I got to go work. OK, start with 30 minutes. If you don't have 30 minutes, start with five minutes, start with an hour. Start on the weekend when you can. Like I said, just mainly get started because, like I said, you don't want to like. Like not get started and then a year go by, two years go by and you ain't never started doing your dream. You know, start with them. If you want to do music lessons. Start with doing research, you know, save enough money so you can buy a cheap guitar and then start practicing with that cheap guitar. I say everybody got to start somewhere. Everybody can't start with a bunch of cool, super new equipment, super high tech, everything in in just have all the all the knowledge and all the stuff. Because even like I said, even if you do, you still got to develop the skill. Everybody is not going to be especially for social media everybody's not gonna be viral right off the bat and even if you are that's always not always a good thing but if you're a musician you're not gonna be just some prodigy off the bat you gotta practice when you're drawing you're not just gonna be an amazing drawing most likely right off the bat you gotta practice there are some people out there that will if you like i said if you want to do sports and you're like oh i don't know where to start if you can go to your local basketball area start there uh, if you can't go to your local basketball area save up buy a mini hoop or whatever start somewhere if you want to work out start working out do see if you can do a push-up you know or, if, or a pull-up you're like oh i don't have the equipment to work out okay cool see what you can do without weights if you can't go to weights and if you you know go to the gym start with small weights if you can start with walking on a treadmill if you feel like you can't run like i said just get started because that's really all that matters as long as you get started somewhere and do something. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to get a little bit of encouragement because I feel like sometimes a lot of people will be scared to start their dreams because they're like, I don't know where to start. Like I said, do a little bit of research. 
if you gotta buy some equipment get cheap equipment don't try to always get super high equipment because like i said you don't always need it um do with what you can where you can start with what you have and like i said if you don't have anything that you can start with get the cheapest option of what you can start with uh you don't need to get super expensive stuff all the time so that's it don't really have anything else to say uh if you enjoyed this video uh what they say like comment subscribe all that good stuff tell somebody about it if you've been enjoying my series so far terraria series uh because eventually at the end of doing beating terraria i'll probably put it on a playlist called like terraria wisdom cool tell somebody about it all right peace out bye